Pythagoras and trigonometry. Now Pythagoras is a grade C question. This one's a grade C question. This is a trigonometry question, which is grade B. You can tell this is Pythagoras because it's just including sides in a right angle triangle. There's no angles in this, so that tells us just to do with the sides. We can tell this is trigonometry because it's a right angle triangle again, but we've got an angle involved as well as two sides. So let's run through this. We know from Pythagoras that the longest side, the hypotenuse, squared, 18 squared, equals the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So we've got 18 squared is 13 squared plus x squared. Now 18 squared equals 324. 13 squared is 169. And x squared we're trying to find. So to find x squared, I need to take away 169 from 324. Now that's a very common mistake when people don't realize they've got to take it away and they add it together. Because x is one of the short sides, this is the longest side, then we must take away. So 324 minus 169 gives us 155. That's what x squared is. And so we need to square root that answer to get square root 155 or 12.4 to three significant figures. Okay, calculate the length of x in a triangle. Let's actually just move that out of the way for now. Calculate the length of x in a triangle. Now, trigonometry question. We start by labelling our sides. So this is the hypotenuse, the opposite, and then we've got op it's opposite the right angle. Then we've got the opposite side to the angle, and then we've got the adjacent side, which is the one that's left over. Now, also we need to know our trigonometric formulas. So the SOHCAHTOA sine opposite hypotenuse, cos adjacent hypotenuse, tan opposite adjacent, so KATOA. This one is using the hypotenuse and the opposite and the angle, so we're using the sine formula. We are trying to find the hypotenuse, which is actually the hardest one to do because usually people mess this up, but the hypotenuse is equal to, remember form a triangle, you cover up the one you want, and you've got opposite over sine of the angle, which is 42. So the opposite side is 12, divided by the sine of 42 would give us our hypotenuse. So bring the calculator back in. So 12 divided by the sine of 42, if it's a close bracket, and we get 17. 9 to 3 significant figures.